Hello there, and welcome to another Jackmate pattern video. This time around, we are going to look at a pattern that, uh, well, I haven't seen it uh, categorized anywhere else. I don't know if there's a name for it, so I've given it a name myself, and I call it Sniper Mate. And the reason I do that is because the killing blow is usually dealt by a piece that's far, far away. Sniper. So, the pattern consists of a very strong sniper, a bishop, usually pretty far away. There's also going to be a knight. And always in this pattern, the knight is in the way and will, de will deliver a deadly uh, discover check. Discover check and a double check that. So the king is in the corner. It can also be here. We'll look at that as well. Here or here. And almost always we're going to need a pawn, a black pawn, to block the king from coming out. Uh, we don't always need this pawn, but we usually need a rook. There are cases if we had the white rook on, uh, let's say, f1. That could be a substitution for having a rook on f8. But most often we're going to need the rook on f8 to block the king from escaping here. So from this position, there are two ways to mate. One way is to take on f7 and to double check. So we have to meet that. So even if the bishop was attacked, let's say there's a pawn here, it's not time to take because double check, you always have to move the king. So the king moves. And now knight h6, and the knight still covers the square that it left. And the sniper takes care of the rest. Just checkmate. So this is with the king on g8. We can also, if we have to, give this check. Again, it's double check by the sniper and the knight. And we go here, and knight e7. Game set match for white. Now actually, the sniper mate can also be executed if uh, the king is on g7. In that case, we only have one discovered attack and the double check available, and that would be to give this check on f5. And we need to give it on f5 because we need to cover this square so the king can't get out. There's only going to be one square, and from here we can select whichever square is available for the mate. Knight e7 or knight h6. Doesn't really matter, just a matter of taste. So this is some form of what has been called suffocation mate. It's not like smothered mate. Uh, there, there are a lot of squares covered by black's own pieces, but not necessarily every time in, in, uh, in this mating pattern, especially if we take an f7, and especially if we cover the f8 square. So sniper mate it is. So let's see some uh, Typical examples, starting off with some easy ones, black to move here. He played queen f3, sorry, it's white to move, and he played uh, bishop to g2. And that's actually, well, helps us tremendously. So black to move. We already saw in the skeleton where it's good for us to have the king. And that's precisely where we want it to be. So we'll lure it to g2 and give this check on f4. King has to go to g1. Can't go here because of the knight. Like I said, important that the knight is covering this. It's a double attack, so we don't have time to take anything. So only this available. And now here or here. I think I prefer here. I don't know why. Another, you know, basically the same example just to show you how very often we, we get these patterns. Queen d1, white wants to trade, but black will not give him time. Exactly the same. And here we have to go to g2. We can't go to h1 because we don't have a deadly discovered check. We only have it on g2. So very important to play this. King takes and knight f4. Double attack, king g1. And knight h3. 
Now sometimes we have to do some preparation. For some reason most of these examples are with black, but it's the same the same pattern. So here we need to do a little a little bit of uh, preparatory work. And actually there is you know there are two ways to do this. Uh, raise your hand if you want to go rook here. Threaten mate, and after takes, you want to go queen g2. Takes, knight f4, double check, king g1, knight h3. Do you think there's a flaw in this? Yes, there is, because you took with a g pawn on h4. So this square, the red square, is now available. So this does not work in uh, the desired manner. So just to demonstrate, if we went for this, this square would become available, so this would not work. But can't we play here? Well, we can, but it's not immediately made, and we've invested in some stuff. So this does not work. But the other two that you might have thought of, rook takes c4 or rook d4, both work. In this case, attacking the queen. And if you take, we know by now what to do. Queen g2 takes double check checkmate let's see another example which I already spoiled no we already looked at this one me scusi we already looked at this one so I didn't spoil anything but we're gonna look at this one and once again it's from the black side so black just played bishop f6 this was uh, Kind of a crazy game, and here white blundered horrendously. He could have played queen d1, keeping things together, but he played queen to d6. Took a pawn, and this gives black a tempo. Knight takes e4, hitting the queen. Also, we have a pretty devastating uh, discovery here. So it doesn't matter if white takes on b6, attacking b7, because remember what I said at the start, the start of the video, we said a double check. You can only move the king. So unfortunately for white, black has a double check. Knight two, where f two or or g three. Choose your next move carefully, young master. If you go knight g three, there's no h two. Uh, sorry, f two square cover. So the king actually escapes. We don't have knight h3, so we need knight h3, and the only way to do that is to play knight f2. Double check, the king has to move, and now knight h3 covering this square. And the sniper is covering the rest. The final example we're going to look at is also going to be from uh, h1. We looked at two examples from g2, two from h1. This is one of them, Alexander Alekhine. One of the former world champions had the black pieces. He was playing a simultaneous exhibition. And here he figured out a way to open up the position and execute our winning pattern. So as always, you know, take your, take your time if you want to figure these things out. Press the pause button and then play it again. And Ali can in this position, he played on to d4. Idea? Open up the bishop, the sniper. But why? What's what's the what's the end game? We have a large amount of trades here on d4. And once we start them, it has to end with the knight leaving the f3 square. So that's another piece of this diagonal. So we gave away our pawn and we removed the knight. We only invest in one pawn, but we get it all back after which move? Bingo, Banco, Bongo. Queen takes h3. We win a piece because this can't be taken. G takes h3, and where do we check? F2, correct. Double check, so king has to move, and checkmate. Super fantastic. So now, it's up to you. Final example, 
it's yours to solve. And this was in the TV show uh, Billionaires. Does Oscar Langstrat ring a bell? I haven't seen the show, but uh, I don't know if Oscar Langstrat is the name of the character or the actor. But Hikaru Nakamura had the white pieces. And he finished this game off spectacularly. And this was the TV show Billionaire. Billionaires, maybe? I forgot. Anyway, white to move. How do you execute our pattern? There's an extra layer in the middle of the variation where you have to find a nice move to set up the end of uh, the sniper mate. So can you figure it out? It's a very forced four move combination. Tell me in the comments and I'm impressed if you find this one. It's uh, even, if, even if you know the pattern, it's still you need to find the move, but it's beautiful. But I think you can find it. Once again, thumbs up if you like the video. If you want me to do more, checkmate patterns helps me uh, tremendously if you like my videos. That's the, uh, well, that's the uh, computer know that yeah, you like these videos and you'd like to see more of them and uh, also encourages me to do more. So please, give me a thumbs up, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Probably another pattern recognition video. Maybe checkmate, maybe patterns uh, having to do with tactics. Maybe some strategic patterns. I have a lot of them up my sleeve. Even though I don't have a sleeve. But I do. Trust me. So see you. Bye bye.